surgery. I'm sitting in the lobby at the hotel waiting for the shuttle to come to take me over to the hospital. My mom and my aunt are going to catch the nine o'clock shuttle. It runs every half hour. Um, I'm ready and my dad's kind of a little anxious. Um, he's over there by himself and he called already and said, where are you guys? So um, since I'm ready, I'm going to take a earlier shuttle than they are. So <sighs> stressful day kind of a little nervous but um, according to what the doctor told my dad yesterday it looks like the surgery isn't going to be as bad as they originally thought so that's a good thing but we will keep you posted throughout the day on how everything is going Okay, guys so I just got to the hospital and I walk into my dad's room and he's not here. I thought, oh my gosh, they already took him to prep him for surgery. But I checked at the desk and they just took him for a test real quick. So he should be back any minute now. So, whew, thought I missed that. Uh, so I'm glad I didn't. Hi everybody, I'm hurting today. <laughs> and I'm waiting to get down there and get this thing out of me so I can relax again. <laughs> They told you about the surgery and it's not as bad as they originally thought? Well, they told me about a lot of stuff, but, uh, you know, I didn't catch all of it the way you said it. I just hope uh, it ain't as bad as... Uh, the first time he just kind of like blotted something out and then he changed it to a different, little different the second time. Uh, well, you got the whole neighborhood community sending you lots of love and uh, prayers and positive thoughts. And well, I thank them all. <laughs> lots of people love the lone wolf, and they think you are just the funniest, awesomest person in the world. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. Got to be funny. I mean, what am I going to do? Lay here and cry. <laughs> so I got to laugh and joke. And you do a good job at it. Lots of people say you should do your own YouTube channel. They all would follow you. <laughs> good morning, everybody. It seems like everything's going as scheduled for Fred um, in North Carolina. He is in the operating room. I don't know if they've started the operation yet, but it takes a long time. They have to go send him through the CAT scan a couple of times just to uh, see where they're going. But I'm hearing better news I'm hearing that the, they're probably not taking a leg so that's that's what I'm hearing so but they haven't opened them up yet so hopefully that's what's going to happen and uh, I'm on my way to Walmart I need to uh, pick up some more cat food oh my god cat food and um, some stuff for me I need some comfort food for tonight when I'm editing um, just watched your uh, video Lucy uh, for Fred and that was really awesome I love that um, hope you get a lot of views on that and what else is going I'm going as fast as I can to put stuff on eBay and it's still taking forever uh, I'm going one of the things I'm getting at Walmart is more boxes um, it's very difficult to find boxes that are the right size if you the larger the box the more it's going to cost the ship and depending on the object if people are not going to bid on it if they they have to pay ten dollars to get it to them um, if it's a inexpensive item so it's, it's got to be the smallest box i can get so everybody my dad's surgery was pushed to one o'clock because the person that is in the room um, before him is still in their surgery, um, not with the same surgeon. So my dad's surgeon was just in here and I did get to speak with him. 
and it's not, um, it doesn't sound like it was as bad as we all thought it was at first. So my dad's trying to take a nap right now. Everybody else went out to get something to eat. So once he leaves, I will come back on and explain everything to you guys. But right now I'm gonna let him rest. Okay, so uh, managed to get a lot of stuff on eBay today. Uh, quite a bit, not a ton of stuff. But I have one item that I, I really would like to get on today, and it's a 20-inch Chinese nipple gong. And yes, that's what I said. And if you see it, you'll know why it's called that. And that is exactly what it's called. Um, it's 20 inches, and big concern about it is uh, putting weight on the middle of it, because it, it can be crushed. So it should be worth uh, quite a bit of money. It's not like a, a Tam Tam, this is a Chinese gong. And um, I've had it for like 30 years and I don't know how much older it is than that. So I have to create a box for it. So I'm gonna be cutting up some stuff and making a box. I have part of a box already started, but it's not uh, deep enough. I'm gonna have to extend it somehow. Hello everybody, so we are still sitting in the surgical waiting area and they give you this little round doohickey things, as my mother calls it, and it goes off. They page you when they have information to tell you. Well, they took my dad at one o'clock for his surgery, or a little bit after one o'clock to go for his surgery. And this little round doohickey thing just went off a few minutes ago, and it's a little after four. And my father's surgery was supposed to be six hours long. So, of course, I'm on the phone with somebody and my mother, my aunt, and my nephew go up to the table and tell me to wait here. So my heart starts going boom, 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 thinking, oh my gosh, something is wrong. And they come back and they tell me that they're paging this to tell us that they made the first incision. Yep. So for a one o'clock surgery time, they just started the surgery at a little after four. So, and they're gonna page us every two hours to give us updates on this little round doohickey. Is that what you called it? A doohickey thing that we are gonna set by the witcher call it on the table over here. Right, Ma? Is that what you said? Where is the witch call it? It's Okay, can you say that a little louder so the camera can hear you? Where is the whatchamacallit? It's by the doohickey on the table. Okay. Don't ask again. <laughs> I think we're all a little punchy. We're, we're very tired. We're very tired. Would you all like to meet my Aunt Barbara? Aunt Barbara might not want to be Aunt met. Barbara, say hi to YouTube. Hi. This is my father's sister. Don't I look like him? She's yes, you do. Yes, if you all remember my cousin Brett that came out to visit me with Crystal, this is his grandmother. All right, so it's done. I've gotten packaging in it, and here the gong is in it, and it's going to be well cushioned. I got all kinds of stuff in here to cushion it, so it'll serve. I think it would survive pretty well. I use strapping tape instead of a regular packaging tape so much stronger to deal with so um i think i've gotten done what i needed to do today and yes in case you didn't notice i'm wearing my favorite shirt with my ventilation and everything and i have nobody here to tell me not to so well hello everybody it's about 10 after 9 or so and we just talked to the surgeon my dad came out of surgery. He went through the surgery just fine. He lost a lot of blood during the surgery, so he had three transfusions while he was in surgery. The tumor was the size of a grapefruit, and it was right up against his colon and his bladder. So they were very careful not to damage the colon or the bladder while they were taking the tumor out. So they were able to get the tumor out. Um, it did take longer than what they expected, 
but they are very confident that they got all the cancer and that everything went according to plan. So thank you everybody so very much for your, your support, your prayers, your positive vibes and everything. Keep them coming because he's got a long road ahead of him of healing, um, physical therapy and all of that. But thank you all so very much. I love you all.